Hi, it's Therese and this is the Inspiration Challenge for February 2020 at Alton U. And this is my card. I decided to use the three colours from the Inspiration to make a fairly clean and simple card. And I started by stamping out the Peony Spray with some permanent black ink onto some 80 pound Nina. And I want the flower to be white. So I need to add some shadows and I'm using the artist markers to do that and I've got the TG it's the two lightest colors out of that set and also the zero or the colorless blender and I'm starting by just sort of picking out some spots <laughs> on the base of the petals just adding a little bit of of the gray and then using the blender pen to blend it out and what the blender pen does actually lifts some color and it helps blend out the ink so it doesn't look like the line of the ink is quite so bold. How I looked at the flower was I saw where the petals sat and then just chose the places where I thought the shadows would be. I didn't want to overdo it and I will come back in and add my a little bit of darker shading with the second gray soon but often I like to leave the color to sit for a little while and dry it doesn't take very long at all to dry on the paper but I might as well color something else in while I'm waiting for that and it also gives me time to think and look at the image a little bit more and work out where I think I've missed some of the shading um, it's hard to get that boldness about adding more depth because I'm always afraid of mucking it up <laughs> or going too far but I'm getting better at being bold and taking that next step and adding some of the darker shades because it really can take your coloring to the next level and it's fun and it's only paper we can start again might not want to but we can <laughs> so the flower the photo of the flower today is from a local tree that grows around here it's called a frangipani they come in lots of different colors and the most usual normal color is the one that I've got in the inspiration photo so it has the yellow center with the white edges and it smells stunning it's a really it's a really pretty flower but it's also a really fragrant flower and of course I can't help you to smell it from here but <laughs> if you come and visit then you, I'll show you and you can smell it for yourself. I think a similar stamp that Alton you have I was looking through the floral stamps at Alton you and the one that I found that was the closest to it was called the playful plumeria so I'd really love it if anyone has that stamp and they use that for this inspiration I think it would be perfect but of course you don't have to have the exact flowers that are in the inspiration or the exact products that are in, in the inspiration because that's what it is it's your take on the photos and the colors and how you want to create and just you can just go for it all right so I've got the coordinating die for this stamp and I'm just going to cut that out and also I want to do some inlay die cutting so I wanted to change it up a bit today and instead of making my flower yellow I want the background to be yellow and I've got some of the warm sunshine cardstock here and I want to inlay die cut this flower but have little pieces sort of hanging over the edge so I've cut it just smaller than the flower and then I'm using the same die cut again to run that through my die cutting machine it's really important to keep all the pieces and there's a tiny 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 little yellow piece you might be able to see it near my left thumb there I did have to find that one later I thought I was gonna to have to start again <laughs> and now that I've got all my puzzle pieces together I actually did cut another piece of the warm sunshine cardstock to the same width as the original panel and added some glue tape to the background and then I can just piece all the edges and the flower together 
I started by putting one of the corners and then laying the flower on top. I figured if it's the same colour behind the flower, like this panel that I've created, then if I don't adhere it exactly in place, no one's going to notice because it's only going to be the yellow showing through anyway on the yellow. And this glue tape is awesome. It's a dotted tape, so it has a really strong hold after it's, I don't know if I use the word dried, set, but while it's freshly laid down, it's very forgiving. So you can actually move your pieces around. And now I've got to say folks here, the struggle is real. I could not work out what sentiment <laughs> I wanted to use. I get one packet out, I'd heat in, I knew I wanted like the black background with the white writing because I knew I needed something to pop and I tried everything and in the end I just grabbed the circled sentiment set and I had one sitting in the back and it has heaps to choose from and when I laid that on top I thought that just looks so much better than everything else that I'd tried and I actually walked away and came back <laughs> but I did it in the end and I used my Misty to stamp it out with some obsidian black ink because I knew that was going to be a nice bold black and I die cut it out, popped up the panel in the front of the card and also popped up my sentiment. I can't wait to see how you're inspired by these colours and these flowers. I'll put all the links below for the February 2020 Inspiration Challenge with Alton U. And if you did like this video, please click on the thumbs up button and if you haven't already, It'd be awesome if you could subscribe to the channel. There's always heaps of inspiration here. I look forward to seeing you here again real soon. Till next time, bye.